Yeah, that's great. This is the first time we're gonna work on the brand new globe, so it's so exciting. I've never done a Shakespeare in a way that it's supposed to be done. Now we go to intermission, right? <laughs> Being able to use the new Hofstra Globe stage as our setting allows us the opportunity to experience some of the questions that Shakespeare's company was dealing with when they were presenting plays for the first time. We're presenting this with uh, the audience is fully lit. We're going to be interacting with them directly in the same way that in the original Globe the actors would have performed directly to the audience. The original Globe was built of wood beams. It was three stories high, and you got up to the third level, and it rocked like a sailing ship. And, you know, wood and paper mache and that kind of stuff doesn't last that successfully for more than 50 years. The Shakespeare Festival started in 1950. Plays used to be done in the gymnasium. John Cranford Adams was president. He had just built the model of the globe, and they decided to display that for the community and to do a Shakespeare play with it. And in 1951, Donald Swinney built a 5'6 life-size model of the globe, and it was put up in the gymnasium. And they finally decided, we need a theater. And what they did was build a new building called the Hofstra University Playhouse, and it was built in order to accommodate the globe. The new globe came about because we realized once the Shakespeare's Globe in London opened, that although John Crawford Adams had kind of been on the cutting edge of the research at the time in the, in the 40s and 50s, that the research had moved on. So we retired the Old Globe in 2008. Last summer I went over to London. I worked with the people in the Shakespeare Globe in London. So I based my design on the research they had done. It's not a copy of the London Globe, but it is a Hofstra Globe that's based on the research they'd done. This project is unique in that we are doing a replication of uh, a historic um, theater, so to be a part of it is, uh, is wonderful. Shakespeare gives us a chance to really explore who we are, how we experience the world, and we do it not just in realistic sound bites, but we do it in classic, beautiful language, timeless language. In addition to that, the Shakespeare Festival gives us an opportunity to work with high school students who come in and work with us, to take classes with uh, the professors here. In fact, we have uh, one student who grew up coming to perform in those scenes and is now playing Horatio. I have been coming to Hofstra for the Shakespeare Festival since I was in high school and I did Shakespeare Days here. And now to be performing on the New Globe, it's like there are opportunities you don't get anywhere else.